Okay, day 57. Um, so I want to talk about like what has changed for me since I started this challenge. Um, actually, let me first talk about why I started the challenge. So, um, I went through a really, really difficult time, um, last year. Uh, just everything was just uprooted. My whole life just in <laughs> what felt like a day just immediately was like, completely and utterly different and heartbreaking and um it was a lot and it didn't stop it kind of kept going um oddly enough I had so many incredible blessings coming out of it that kind of told me that that was supposed to be that the heartbreak was exactly what was supposed to happen um oddly enough um someone came into my life like right before um which was a blessing that helped me through it and um but also this, this encounter, I realized a lot. Um, I, it sparked a, it's so much to say all, but the main thing I can say is this, I met me. And it sparked this spiritual awakening journey, whatever you want to call it. And in, in that process, um, I knew the answer was that I needed to learn to love myself. And I know that sounds so cliche and like, you know, yeah, whatever everyone talks about. But no, really, like, it's just something that I, when I look back over the years and it's something I've talked about and I've something I've, it's like, oh, you can't, you know, love someone until you love yourself, body, body, body. I've said this forever and I, I believe it with all my heart, but the truth is that I never felt that way for myself. I never felt like I was enough, which is why I wrote a song called I Am, You Are, We Are Enough. I've tried so many techniques and ways to get myself to love myself and nothing worked until this moment and where it just was like, oh, I know what this journey is about. And um, this was like the moment I was waiting for. And so, so much to the point where, you know, I decided to start this challenge and by keeping myself accountable, <laughs> by keeping myself accountable to meditating every day, I'm fucking vlogging every day. You're my accountability. You. <laughs> That's how much I realized that I not only needed to do this, but that I would do this because I'm putting it out there. Like, boom. So... Since I have been doing this challenge, I have been eating better. I have, <clears throat> I have been sleeping. Um, I've been like getting pretty much eight hours of sleep a night, which is, I don't, if you know me, that is a really big deal. <laughs> um, I, I started doing yoga again. I'm going to the gym. Um, and the things I'm doing, though, the good, the healthy, good things I'm doing aren't excessive or um, so structured and routine. So it's I'm not doing it as a means to punish myself like I would in the past. I'm not doing these things as an escape. Um, 
I'm doing these things because I'm finally, I'm finally loving myself. And that is so big for me. You know, loving yourself is not a mantra. It's not something you wake up and say, oh, I'm going to love myself. No, it's action. It's what you do. It's everyday action. It's a relationship with self. And I've gotten to the point where I actually look forward to coming home and journaling and um, listening to these podcasts. And I'm not even watching TV anymore. I'm like, it's so weird. Um, I just want to listen to podcasts and audiobooks. Eckhart Tolle um, is a big one for me right now. Um, And I'm essentially just... waking the fuck up and learning to love myself it's just crazy it's it's like I said it's just not it's not ever been something that I felt like I've ever done (laughs) never I've like dabbled into like meditation and things you know here and there over the years but like to stick with something and really really commit to it is a different thing um which I'm realizing that you can't have anything um you can't have these these meaningful relationships and things that you really want in life until you really do that. Um, I've always believed this, but I never really put it into action until now. And so I'm really excited about that, um, looking at it overall. Everything has changed. Um, I've, I'm surrounded by amazing, supportive people who are just pouring out unconditional love on a daily basis. It's just incredible. Like, I feel, like, so extremely blessed. Um, I have the support and the space to, to do this and to be creative and to write. And the things that are happening creatively, I'm just, like, it just feels, um, so much more true, authentic, and real than ever before because I can finally see myself. I can finally be me. I can finally um, have the space to to do that, you know? Um, And it's really cool. It's really, 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 really cool. We all need to do this. We all need to do this. Please do this. Just do this, please. I can't stress enough how important this is to do. Please do this work. Nothing will fulfill you. Nothing, nothing outside of yourself will fulfill you or give you the thing that you need, that you're looking for. Nothing, nothing will give it to you. You have to give it to you. And until you do... Everything that you're looking to fill that in in its place will only cause you grief. What's meant for you will be for you no matter what. In exactly the right time, when exactly it's supposed to, as long as you do this part first. That's what I'm finding. It's a really big deal. I know this video is extra long, but it's a really, really fucking big deal. And I'm just, I feel, I'm proud of myself for, for doing this, um, for sticking with it, especially when it's been difficult and I have bouts of loneliness and all these things, but it's the mind saying that it's what society has said that I need and things that are, that aren't, that aren't true, you know? And the, those, those extra things are extra things, you know, the, 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 the foundation and the wholeness that you are looking for and that you need, that you want, is already within you. It's just looking at that, remembering that, embracing that, being that every single day. And then everything that enters your life and comes in after that is, is just an extra thing. That's it.
yeah, keep going. Wah.